is equal to um, G and I plus N E or G and I plus N E. That is for the amplifier where uh, this N E is at the outside, but uh, this N E in at the amplifier. And for the freeze formula where, where the derivation is uh, the Long's derivation, so F total equal to 1 plus T, uh, T E I plus over I plus T E 2 over G I T I G1 Ti plus Te3 plus G1 G2 Ti. Also, same with um, F1 plus F2 minus 1 over G1 plus F3 minus 1 over G1 G2. And uh, F also same as 1 plus TE over TI. And TE uh, from this one also, we have TE equal F minus 1 multiplied by TI. And we have so many equations uh, last week. So today, uh, what you... We learn, you will learn about the uh, definition of modulation, amplitude of modulation, and the first type of amplitude uh, modulation that is uh, side, double sideband will carry DS, uh, DSP FC modulation. Okay, so uh, last week we already uh, uh, searched for the last two weeks, I think, uh, the definition of modulation that I want um, you to share in the menti, Mentimeter. So, uh, today we already um, uh, focus on the modulation and this one, this uh, chapter is focused on the amplitude modulation but first of all, the definition of modulation is a signal transformation to a format suitable for transmission that is transformation. That is the keyword is we transform the signal and it involves uh, another signal that is uh, usually carry signal. Okay, okay. for example, uh, we have information signal. Okay, information signal, for uh, we have information signal such as voice, image, and so on, but this uh, information signal in analog signal, we cannot uh, transfer to long distance without change or transform it. So, uh, to uh, to be able to transfer, uh, that means we want to communicate with other, we want to transfer to another, um, another, another part. So, we need to change it. So, we need carrier signal. Okay, this carrier signal. Uh, this carrier signal is um, the high frequency signal that uh, the information signal will change based on the carrier signal. Okay, this is the. Uh, you can search more about the definition of uh, modulation and uh, the benefit of modulation is. Uh, the modulation can shift the spectral content of message signal into a band which is better suited to the channel because uh, we have um, the channel we have uh, wired and wireless so uh, it's uh, uh, with the modulation we can um, transmit based, uh, using the channel and modulation permits the use of multiplexing. Multiplexing is the last chapter you will learn about the multiplexing. It's more about the digital modulation. And modulation also can provide some uh, 
uh, control over noise. This is the benefit of modulations. Okay, type of modulation. Give you five that. Uh, okay, so uh, okay, uh, the types of modulation, there are two major types of modulations. That is the continuous wave modulations and uh, pulse modulations. The continuous is analog modulations where the carrier is sinusoidal. Okay, the carrier is, uh, okay, we have, uh, this is the modulator. This is information signal information signal and this is the carrier so uh, usually this is modulating signal uh, vm and uh, we have vc vc is the carrier signal and for the uh, continuous wave modulation this carrier modulation is sinusoidal and usually is uh, for all analog communication uh, so we have uh, Amplitude modulation, angle modulation. So this is the continuous modulation. Okay, like this. Uh, we have the uh, continuous modulation and pulse modulation. The, another one, the carrier is pulse string. So this one is the carrier signal. Uh, for pulse modulation, for the uh, pulse modulation, uh, the carrier is pulse for this one, for the VC. Okay, uh, and okay, for uh, today, today and uh, tomorrow, we will focus on the amplitude modulation. Okay, like um, before this, how many types of uh, modulation that you already learned? Before this, the previous slide, how many mod, uh, how many types of modulations? Two. Two, okay, two. Based on the carrier, what is the first one? Continuous wave. Ah, uh, continuous. And the second one? I know. Pause mode. Uh, the pulse. Uh, yeah, the pulse modul uh, modulation or the pulse. The carrier is the pulse. And for the uh, continuous, we have uh, amplitude modulations, uh, frequency modulations, and also the... Okay, so, uh, so for the amplitude modulations, there are... Uh, Four type of amplitude modulation. The first one is double side band full carrier (PSB FC). Also, uh, we call this as full AM. Wow. And for the second is double side band suppressed carrier. Okay, uh, the full AM is the most widely used type of AM modulation, and this is the uh, full AM or the basic one. So when um, when we say about the amplitude modulation, usually we refer to this. But we also have another three, another three type of amplitude modulations. That is the double sideband suppress carrier. Okay, double sideband suppress carrier. Double sideband suppress carrier, same as the SBFC, but without the carrier. Okay, uh, and for the single sideband suppress carrier, uh, only half of the signal of the SPS is used. And the, uh, another one is vestigial sideband. It's the modification of SSB. Okay, there are four types of amplitude modulations. Okay, for uh, today, we only focus for the first type, that is Double sideband full carrier DSBFC. And tomorrow, inshallah, we will proceed with another three type of amplitude modulations. Okay, what is DSBFC or the full AM? 
Okay, the, as I said before, uh, it is the fundamental modulation process or the basic of the uh, modulation or amplitude modulation. So, uh, for this one, the carrier uh, frequency signal more larger than modulating frequency. So, uh, okay, as uh, I said before, so this is the modulation. We have information signal or the uh, modulating signal here. Uh, and we need to change it. And we use the carrier signal. Carrier signal in the uh, amplitude modulations or the DSPFC is the this uh, frequency is more higher than the frequency of uh, FM. Okay. In the modulating signal, we have FM. Okay. For example, here we have a signal like this. This signal like this, and uh, this is the uh, wave, and we have the frequency uh, like this. And then for the VC, the FC is very high, so we have like this. Okay, um, because uh, with the high frequency, we can transmit um, more with the higher distance. Okay, and modulator is used to generate AM signal. Uh, okay, this one, X here, is modulator. Okay, and uh, this one same like this. So, we have uh, VMT, the modulating signal, and VCT, the carrier signal, uh, and it's combined in the modulator. So, the... The formula, the basic formula is EC plus VMT cos VCT. Okay, for the modulate, uh, for the modulations, uh, we need to use carry signal because carry signal have a higher frequency than the modulating signal. So that's why. Uh, in every formula, most of the formula, uh, we use the omega C because we want uh, to change from the original signal or the information signal, the modulating signal, into the modulated signal and that's why we use the carrier signal with the higher frequency. So we have uh, omega C here. And the uh, amplitude of the amplitude of the uh, VAM or the DSBSC is DC plus omega MT. So this one is on the amplitude, but VM is full full equation. So um, VM here equal to EM cos omega M. Okay, uh, like uh, I said before, so uh, VMT is EM cos omega T, omega MT, and VC EC or uh, cos omega CT. And this is the formula of, uh, the basic formula of VAM. And uh, when we uh, expand it, we will get EC plus EM cos omega MT cos omega CT. And okay. Uh, in the modulations, we have the modulation index, one of the uh, important parameter. And for amplitude modulations, amplitude modulations, the formula of uh, modulation index is EM over EC. Because for the frequency modulation, the equation is different. Okay. From okay from here. Uh, can be deduced to this one because uh, change uh, this EM into M. This mean uh, put out the EC. So we will get this is uh, the formula. Another this mean you can uh, also remember remember this one. 
also this one and then when uh, use the three geometry identity we can expand this because we have this uh, cos omega ct cos omega mt we can expand it uh, by using this uh, three geometry into this one this is another uh, formula of uh, vm that's uh, usually used okay from uh, previous equation from previous equation we have this uh, ec cos omega ct plus mec uh, over 2 multiplied by cos omega c plus omega mt okay this one ec from the carrier signal and this one is the um uh, it's mean uh, modulated signal there is this is the side band. so uh, when we um, this is the okay this is the frequency spectrum uh, when uh, when i ask you to uh, draw the frequency spectrum it's mean this one uh, we want the amplitude amplitude uh, the x uh, x as this is amplitude and y eh, sorry uh, y as this is amplitude and x as this is the frequency so we have carrier band uh, upper side band and lower side band and for the upper side band the frequency is omega c plus omega m and the amplitude is mec over 2 or em over 2 and uh, when uh, okay, this is the uh, bandwidth of the SPS, so uh, the bandwidth equal to FM because this one is same as FM. Okay, and uh, for the for the uh, okay. The modulation index, we also can get the modulation index from the uh, graph. So, uh, for example, we have graph like this and um, we have the, okay, this one, the uh, high frequency here, this means the uh, okay, high frequency here is uh, VC. And this one, the uh, low frequency is Vm. But af after uh, modulate, this means after uh, go through the uh, modulating process, combine here, so we have like this. So the um, the amplitude here is okay from here. Okay, this is the amplitude of, okay, uh, this is the amplitude of EM, okay, this is EM, because, uh, okay, this is VM, uh, VM, and uh, the amplitude of the, amplitude of the modulating signal, is em so we you can see here this is a uh, positive em and then negative em here and uh, here is the vc the carrier okay the This this uh, the small this mean the high frequency the small small um, graph here is the carry signal and you can see the the main the main uh, is like this I think this one so this is the EC because uh, we see equal EC 
PC cos omega C T right and VM equal EM cos omega MT. So here we have the amplitude of EC here and until okay until here. So, uh, based on the trapezium, based on the trapezium, M equal A minus B over A plus B. So, uh, A minus B equal to E max. Okay. For the E max here, okay, E max equal to... Uh, Okay, this one until here is EC. Okay, and then the Emax is here. So we have another uh, part we need to add. So this is EM. So that's why uh, the Emax is e EC plus EM. Two here because we have top and bottom. So same value here. So uh, that's why it's two. And then E means E means is uh, here. Okay, E means here uh, because okay, this one is E C and uh, this small part also E M. So until here. We can uh, see that EC minus EM. Uh, okay, and when we uh, add alls, we have 4 EM over 4 EC. So, uh, we get M equal EM over EC. Okay, this is the uh, effect of the uh, modulating index. So, we, if you have same, so the graph uh, look like this. If M uh, lower than 1, the graph like this. M, M over than 1, the graph like this. Okay, this is the uh, power. So, uh, for the... Okay, uh, before we proceed with the power, uh, please try this, uh, this example first and we will discuss after 5 minutes.
Okay, uh, can uh, some of you solve the first one? What is the formula of modulation index? EM over EC. Ah, EM over EC. So from here, what is the EM? Three. three. Yeah, three. And what is the EC? Ten. Yes. Ten. So the modulation index is zero point three. Yeah. Three. Okay. Uh, and the second one, the frequency of upper sideband. Okay, how to get the frequency of upper sideband? What is the frequency of upper segment? What is the formula to get it? Is it a uh, bandwidth formula? Ah, then bandwidth is uh, the uh, two FM or the uh, from the upper segment to the lower segment. But uh, the first one, the, for the upper segment, uh, how to get the upper segment? Omega. Omega C plus Omega M. Ah, cool. yes. Omega C plus Omega M. But this one is for the uh, frequency. So for this one, for uh, okay. for this one, this is the This is omega m and omega m equal to 2 pi f. So this is the fm. So this one is omega equal to 2 pi fc. So this one, uh, the question asks you to the frequency, frequency of upper segment. So only take the frequency, uh, not the take the omega. Omega is the omega uh, because frequency in hertz. Omega is um uh, red. So uh, the formula for the upper side band is fm plus fc. What is the answer? We need to aware that uh, the uh, multiply is different. There is, uh, this one is multiplied by 10 power of 3. This one is 10 power of 6. So, okay, this is the uh, upper segment. So, this is uh, FC plus FM. So, you should get the uh, 1001 kilohertz. And for the lower side band is FC minus FM. Because uh, based on the frequency spectrum before. Based on the frequency. Uh, okay. Uh, we have the uh, carrier signal here. And we have the FC plus FM for the upper side band. And then uh, FC minus FN for the lower segment. And what is the bandwidth of uh, this?
So the bandwidth is from upper sideband to lower sideband equal to FM. Or also you can uh, minus the upper sideband to the lower sideband. Okay. Uh, the third question is, uh, what is the ratio between sidebands and carrier amplitude? Okay, this one is amplitude. What is the carrier amplitude? Ten. Yeah, mm -hmm. ten. For the VC equal EC cos uh, omega CT. So EC equal ten. And what is the sideband uh, amplitude? From here, the amplitude is uh, M E C over 2. This is the amplitude of the sideband. Okay, this is the amplitude of the carrier. So, M E C over 2. The sideband uh, side amplitude is M E C over 2. So, you will get... Uh, okay, the first one is, what is the answer for the first one? 0 0.3, right? Is equal to 10 uh, and then over 2, so you will have 15. So the uh, sideband amplitude is 15. Between, ratio between sideband and carrier, so... Uh, sideband over the carrier. So we will have 15 over 10. 1.5. Doctor. Yes. Carrier amplitude tu kita nak ambil kat mana? Uh, carrier amplitude tu ambil daripada sini. Ni. Okay, this one is a carrier. And this one is sideband. This is a upper sideband and this lower sideband. So, amplitude is EC. And amplitude for the... This one same like... Uh, same like this. Uh. So, uh, so, this is the carrier. This is a uh, sideband, lower sideband and upper sideband. So, this is the amplitude. Okay, boleh faham tak? Dia bagilah maksudnya dalam uh, equation. Eh? Lalunya dia bagi macam ni lah. Dia bagi macam soalan ni. Dia bagi this one je. Dia bagi VMT berapa. Dia bagi VC berapa. So, you kena uh, uh, guna formula-formula untuk dapatkan sideband tu. Uh, this one is okay. Yeah. Okay, and the last one is the maximum and minimum peak to peak voltage of the modulated signal. Okay. This one, when a uh, question as uh, peak to peak, usually it will refer to this. So uh, this one is uh, maximum, maximum peak to peak, and this one is minimum peak to peak. So. Uh, From here, so uh, this is the emax maximum peak to peak, and this one minimum peak to peak. So uh, the equation is two times EC plus EM. Okay. So, uh, 
maximum peak to peak T multiply by EC plus EM. And for E mean 2 multiply by EC minus EM. So you should get this. Plus EC is EC is a uh, what is this? A uh, ten. Two times EM is three. Okay, not fifteen, and we will get twenty six. And for this one, two ten minus three. So you will get fourteen. Any question on this? On the first example? Okay, if uh, no question, we proceed with the power first. Before we go to the second example. Okay, for the uh, for the uh, S, uh, frequency spectrum before we have the carry signal uh, low sideband and upper sideband so this is the uh, frequency spectrum and we want to uh, we want to get the power so the formula of uh, total power is Power of carrier plus power of uh, low sideband plus uh, power of upper sideband. So for the uh, because the uh, question for P P equal I V or uh, we also can get V squared over R. So and uh, this one use the RMS. And uh, for this uh, VRMS equal to EC over square root. Okay, this one. Um, okay, this is the uh, formula uh, for the uh, V square. This means VRMS. So when you expand this, uh, you will get the question is uh, EC squared over 2R plus M squared EC squared over 8R and M squared EC squared over 8R. Okay. And when uh, when okay, from here PC, okay this one is PC. Okay. And then when you you also can simplify the uh, lower sideband and upper sideband power into m squared pc because uh, uh, you uh, you can simplify from here. And when you add uh, the okay, this one for the sideband sb power of the sideband for the lower sideband and upper sideband, you will get m squared pc over two. So, uh, because we have uh, the total power is power of carrier plus power of sideband. So, you will get like this. And this is the uh, total formula for the power of uh, amplitude modulations, full AM or uh, DSPFC. All right. Okay, for here, for the trans uh, transmission energy efficient uh, efficiency. Okay, I think uh, I will uh, proceed this uh, tomorrow for the transmission energy uh, transmission energy, and uh, also this one. You try solve this first, and uh, submit this uh, answer to the 
to the uh, e-learning. I will uh, provide the e-learning e-learning uh, e-learning for submit this. I also will uh, discuss the answer after you submit. Okay, any uh, question for today's lesson? Okay, any questions until now? Okay, if uh, no more questions, we will... Uh, yeah, you need? Uh, can you share the lecture note for last, last session? Before the... Amplitude modulation. Uh, let's see. Oh, are you? I not share it yet. Because, are you uh, share the video only? Oh, the video only. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, I will share. Uh, share in the evening after this. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Welcome. Any other questions? Okay, if uh, no other questions, uh, we will meet tomorrow, inshallah. We um, continue with the energy efficiency of this GSBFC and then for the three other amplitude modulations. Uh, and also for the, because I already upload this, this slide in the e-learnings, so uh, you need to solve the example too and submit it uh, before tomorrow class. Is it possible? Okay. Yes. Okay. If no other uh, questions. Uh, yes, ada. Eh, tak ada. <laughs> Alright. Uh, if uh, no other questions, we will uh, stop now and uh, meet tomorrow, inshallah. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Dr. Okay, welcome.